The M1 Grand, I think they, uh, you know, I've shot that a few times, and uh, the Mauls and a Golf, I've shot that a few times uh, in real life. The MP40 submachine guns, I would say they're pretty accurate. Let's just get straight into it, okay? The big one everyone's been waiting for, Call of Duty World War II. Dude, it's, it's out! Okay, so without any further ado, Jordan, our gaming guru, is here to tell us her views on the game. For a while now, Call of Duty games have been set in the future or in alternate realities, but for the first time since 2008, Call of Duty World War II takes the series back to its roots. It's more focused, telling the story of one squad in the United States 1st Infantry Division over the course of several months. The characters are actually memorable and well acted, and you get to know them and care about what happens to them. I was especially glad to see some female characters in the game, including a spy called Rousseau, who you get to play as for one of my favourite levels, where you have to sneak into German headquarters in Paris and remember your cover story every time you're questioned by a Nazi. Of course, most of the game involves taking on the Nazis, sometimes with a tank, but mostly with an era-appropriate gun. Expect to get used to slow reload times. This game is going for realism, so there's also no health regeneration. If you get hurt, you have to use a health pack, which you find in the levels, or get from your medic squad mate. The game doesn't shy away from showing the real effects of war either. The game starts with the Normandy landings, and seeing your squad mates suffer on the beach around you is as horrible as you'd expect. It actually made me feel really uncomfortable, which I guess is what they're going for, but there's always that problem with games. No matter how realistic the depiction of the horrors of war, if your character dies, you just get to reload and try again. And I can't help but feel like having a zombie mode is a bit tone deaf. Use the banger, I'll cover you! Whoa, 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 it sounds to me like you didn't actually enjoy the game. Honestly, I just don't really like military shooters of any kind. I would rather kill monsters or aliens. But of the military shooters I have played, this had the most affecting story. And I liked all the little touches, like having to grab health kits from your medic, or the fact that sometimes the enemy surrenders, and uh, the heroic acts as well, like dragging your injured squad mates back behind cover. No, 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 no. It sounds to me like you're about to break my heart. Does this mean that you're not going to play the multiplayer aspect with me? I don't think so. I'm going to finish off the story, and then I think it's back to destiny. All right, well, fair point. Uh, Jordan, we'll talk to you in a minute for gaming news. Well, there you have it. There's the gaming expert view. So let's have a listen to the soldier's eye view. Let's talk to Nick, the Reaper, and see how he got on with the game. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, when I first started into this game, I, I, it, it, it felt foreign to me. I haven't played this kind of fast, aggressive game in a while. And it, COD's famous for that. Run and gun. Go, go, go. Get it done. It took me a couple of matches on the multiplayer side of things to actually warm up to it. Yeah, uh, I want to say I, I jumped into the campaign mode, man, uh, right off the bat. I think that's where I get the... I guess the uh, the vibe of the whole video game, and when you say you know you jump right into it and and dive into the combat, dude. I mean, I was dropped. Uh, you know, I had to restart different. You know, at least a million times on the uh, just the landing on the beach by itself in Normandy. Um, it's a really, really you know in your face realistic video game. It, it brought back a lot of old battle drills that I had to uh, you know go over as an as an army ranger. Battle drill one alpha. You know, uh, how to clear a bunker or how to flank someone using cover and concealment. It brought all those into the video game, and I loved it. What did you think of the maps? Oh, I love the maps, man. I want to say, when it comes to the badges, I think that's where I kind of lost the, uh, uh, not memory, but it's been such a long time since I've, you know, tried to acquire badges and stuff like that, and, you know, your KD ratio, and, you know, of course, I never had to incorporate anything like that in real life, or I wouldn't be here talking to you. I, mean, I think that you know, uh, you get into the video game mindset and you totally forget that you get awards. Uh, it reminds me of a mission overseas where, you know, uh, we had a big ambush. A few of our guys got ambushed, shot in the helmet, a uh, dog was hit, and I'm having, you know, I have to, I'm a sniper at this point, so I'm laying down suppressive fire through a wood line, and these guys are falling back, and then they're not all finished off, so I call in an AC-130 for a 105 howitzer <laughs> round and start dropping a howitzer, a 105s on, on bad guys, man, and you know, I didn't get, you know, a next level uh, award, but I got a pretty cool award. Didn't mean much after the fact, but it did make that video game. It makes, you know, Call of Duty that much more realistic that, you know, you, you achieve something like that and you get awards for it and it advances your career or, you know, uh, weapons or skill sets, anything of that nature. I love it. Well, let's talk about weapons, because obviously we're dealing with weapons from the Second World War. Did you find anything in that? Yeah, the M1 Grand, I think they... Uh, 
you know, I've shot that a few times, and uh, the Mazda and a Golf, I've shot that a few times uh, in real life, the MP40 submachine guns. I would say they're pretty accurate when it comes to, you know, the sight picture acquisition. Um, I like the way it kind of blurs out when you're peeking around a, you know, a, a corner or a wall and your depth perception is thrown off. You know, I think the, the weapon systems were really, really accurate. The only thing I didn't like was the, you know, of course, the infinite ammo and the uh, machine guns and stuff like that. Not a big fan of the infinite ammo. Not at all. Yeah, interesting. See, one of the big uh, kind of complaints I've got about this game is that I'm still really tired of people getting me from the other side of the map with an SMG, or when I come running into a room with an SMG, the guy with the sniper rifle is quick scoping me and then dropping me. So I'm, I still don't think, even after all these years, that COD have got that right yet. You know, in real life, you're not going to hit someone a K away with a 9mm. It's just not going to happen. You know, I do have an award, though, that does say I have shot from Afghanistan to Iraq, but it was a total mess up on the chain of command. Really didn't happen. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, I would say that's a huge annoyance for me, and, and I think that if the Call of Duty uh, wanted to, I guess, advance their uh, overall weapons, uh, you know, that weapons department, the, I guess, the, the, the 9 mil should not have the same effect as a, you know, bazooka or something like that, or, uh, you know, a high power rifle. It shouldn't have the same effect. All right, let's uh, let's round this up. What did you like? What didn't you like? Dude, I love the graphics, man. I love the graphics. I love the you know the, the realistic sound effects. There's a few times in the video game where you know it brought back those flashback memories, and you jump a little bit because you hear a snap or a crack from around. I'm like, oh, back in Afghan or Iraq. Um, really love the graphics. Love the sound. What I did not like about it, you know, the infinite ammo. Of course, the you know, a multiplayer where you can, you know, hit a guy from a map away. That was a, a, a huge downfall. And uh, I would have, oh, the uh, the storyline during the gameplay. I think the intro was a little bit too long. It kind of lost my, lost my attention. It's like a five minute plus long intro for the campaign mode. And I was kind of turned off by that. Nick, thank you so much for taking part again today. I look forward to playing with you online. Definitely, man. Thank you.